dogs, all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Unscrupulous and violent. Oh, sounds like they need some killing. Hello? Anyone want to be dead? I assume, given this is basically still tutorial town, there's not going to be a lot of. There's not going to be a lot of stuff. What did I just miss? Bad people, bad jokes. Why did the chicken cross the road? Huh? What's a chicken? Knock, knock. Who's there? Planet two. Planet, planet two. If I throw a party, will you help me, planet? <laughs> that one's not bad. Elliptic mercenary. Ecliptic mercenary says, Woman, I've been hired to kill you and I always get the job done. Woman says, Can't we talk about this one? What? Ah. How do you keep an idiot in suspense? Heart. How do you get a free star collective hick out of a tree? Wave. Eh. I think. Lewis Loop Lewis Lupper's Bad People, Bad Jokes, Volume 2. It's a father of his original work, which is like it's pretty. So it has become a cult hit. Okay. So, oh, I have no idea what that is. Curious, these are United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. The following is opening Camellia Flamington's 1894 work, Omega, The Last Days of the World, which comments to card with a... Hmm. So this is going to be like Skyrim, where there's basically tons and tons of books for you to read good not that I ever read any of the books in Skyrim excuse me reading
That's not like a gold. I tried to go into that. That isn't a thing in this game. Yeah, that looks like a gold. Good gold. At least inspired by one anyway. Red lights to show we're going into evil. My life chunk by chunk. Humans are animals, smart animals, sure, but animals. You are too weak, you want to stay good, and want to stop out and that those two things are so much important. What should be ones that could be healthy, as the experts say, then some people. So begins the 120 page autobiography of Fred Blomart, founder of the Chunks Food franchise. I hope that's you, Vasco. Credits. Two hundred credit. Just decide to sit down, why don't you? I hope this stuff is worth something when I sell it. Sparkling water. So now found the fake business. Chugs found a friend Blomart. Blombart. Blombart. Personally wrote three page in her employee handbooks. 
following the next up mode too. It's like saying the customer is all right, always right. Here at Chunks, if we know anything, it's the expression the customer is always right, is always wrong. In this case, it's actually scientifically impossible for the customer to be right. If they have no working knowledge of our state of the art economy facilities, and without the secret recipe to draw chunk flavoured, then we will be out of a job, me included. There's a lot of people in service jobs that would love to be. Ah, shit. Where are they shooting from? Boom pop black licorice. Ooh. Um, I shot so I raided, raided, looted them. There's another body somewhere. Looted <laughs> Oh, so there was more. Pirate assault space helmet. Ooh. Posthumous papers of the Penwick Club. Penwick's first ray of light is illuminate the green and converts into a dazzling brilliancy that ob that obscurity in which the early history of the public career of the immortal Penwick would appear to be involved. It is rather interesting which the editors of these papers show the highest pleasure like they always read it as a proof the careful attention in death flip Ugh. Indicatable? Oh, shit, it's flipping hell. They've definitely used a very fancy dic dictionary for this game. And nice discrimination with she searched among them. Multiflare is documents. Charles Dickens' first book, a man about, about a man who established his society whose goal is to travel and research human life, became a phenomenon that was established in order of one of the best in his day. Is that true? Is A, the Penwick Papers an actual book? And B, was it written by Charles Dickens? I've got to be somewhere near my um, weight limit now. I'm picking literally everything up. Yes, I'm not far off my weight limit.
Hello. The United Colonies Xeno Warfare. That doesn't sound good. So we're kidnapping animals to use them for weapons, yay! Or rather, the United Colonies are kidnapping animals to use as weapons. Hiccup. Pick up. Okay, this opening of all the things is going to get boring quickly. Okay. So apparently that's how you um, lockpick. I actually quite like that. Well, it's a. Um, I quite like it now. After I've done it a thousand times, maybe not, but. Basco, I'm I'm gonna need you to carry some stuff for me in a moment. Because basically, Barrett and the Crimson, do you require assistance with your? I've been carrying items? a lot of crap.
I am not sure why. This monster. No, no, it is not. Ooh. There is no enemy nearby. Resume systematic wandering. Resume systematic one. Seven, I just arrived this morning. Completely operational. Blah, blah, blah. Basically, they're trying to make death claws, and the same thing's happening. I'd say didn't I kill someone up here? Oh. 
combat, there is a high likelihood of human death. Oh, Grenadol, isn't I? I thought Grenadol was grenades. Ooh. Okay. Did someone? No. We are out of half an hour. Detecting a safe nearby, we could make use of whatever is inside. You had some. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. A book and drugs. Okay. Very hostile. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. 
If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Mm. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. You're not talking us out of this score. To side your choices, each difficult date no choices. ship for nothing correct get out of here take your robot and your ship and get out of here i see you all again you're dead we should now be free to travel to constellations headquarters without crimson fleet interference Carrying too much and can't fast travel. Oh, a robot. We need to reach the Alpha Cent MI currently in possession of an item you require. No. Travel correct upon the mission when you press start. Scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis.
Lol. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. I'm sure you can find something you like. <laughs> Three hundred thousand. Okay. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. Okay. I would try to viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into. Okay. No problem. I probably shouldn't have. Hmm. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Okay then. HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Mast ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch. Let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. Hmm. Well, just glad I still remember my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool. Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? 
but that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last week. It kind of smelled, but I don't smell anything. Um, no, yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. Wow, she just seems horrible. Three Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. That's fine. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. Just, just while they're talking, I need to get changed. Exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. I'm really rather busy. I am really in the middle of something. Hmm. What? No, just uh, go away. <sighs> Guess you caught some of that, huh? Uh, the galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. <laughs> That's humans for you. We can ruin a glass of water. <laughs> well, no. You don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. I'm right here with you, my friend. How can you not look up to the cosmos and just be overwhelmed by its beauty? So much possibility, so much hope, even despite recent events. Ricardo Bosch, I was the Ricardo. lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture, or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Really? <laughs> you must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though, they tend to shoot first and ask questions never. Not what, who. How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society faction or cult whatever you want to call them they believe in some sort of celestial deity called the great serpent uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff about a hundred years back they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems i guess your school never covered the serpent's crusade huh correct they eventually made peace sort of then they just disappeared they're out there somewhere or so folks assume the ones that attacked us they were the hardliners for sure you meet those guys you run you understand me thank you yep that i have had to dump a load of cargo just last year microscopes can you believe that <laughs> I've got some sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. They jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. 
keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it, so long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet side, though, and their trigger fingers get much itchier. That's good to know. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, child. I've never been in a battle before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people yelling about serpents and stuff. Probably. I'm pretty brave. A kid tried to bully me once, and I punched him in the head. Ah. Don't take shit from anybody, my mother says. And I don't. Anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. They're almost certainly dead, young one. That scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? Okay. Talk to the scientist by the tree. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Uh oh. I like your hat. Okay, no bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. Welcome to the new city, the city of New Atlanta, to scout all you might call in this one for many of the settled systems as a whole. You stand there in the most technology advanced city a human race has ever conceived and constructed. New Atlantis was founded in the year 2156. The same year we first arrived in the Ocean Story Sources. New Resident Evil 4, you can only South of the Seeds, take. Mm hmm. Corporate directory. Here's something I I do love that I've just got a giant robot following me around. <laughs> this is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Two point nine per cent, that ain't bad. Two point nine per cent's actually pretty damn good.
Hello there. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. Another day, another credit. Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. How about you? Glad to hear it. Yeah, life is good, isn't it? I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. I think we're finally getting close. Really? Well, I guess you're right. I'm feeling a bit run down. I really love my job, but it's hard work and long hours. I could definitely use a Terracino from Terra Brew right now. Really? That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. Tony and I want to see what else is out there. I love my job, but there, there has, has to, to be more, more to life than, than life. just being a janitor in New Atlantis. What about you? Have you gone on any adventures? That's amazing. I'm so jealous. You wouldn't... Mm. One day you'll have to tell me and Tony all about them, okay? Don't be a stranger. Nope. So I need to get this person a coffee. Oh, what's this? Something I can steal? No. So, quests. Coffee first, because that's a nice thing to do. Depending on which one I come across first. Does Radcliffe even need to be involved? President Abeo wants to foster relations, not fracture them. Keep up. We'll make sure she knows that. Sorry, sir, but we can't sell to you. You see citizens only. Ah, I'm always ready to make a deal. Welcome to Feeling Realty. I'm Zora. A feeling, I'm here okay. To help with whatever you may need. What brings you in today? Looking to settle down or move up in the world or just window shopping? Perhaps I'll be having a chat with your superiors there. That's fine. It happens all the time. I never mind an opportunity to chat with someone new. I'm here if you have any more questions, or if you'd like to look at properties. Okay, let me just pull up your data. Oh, I I'm sorry, but you're not... If, if you take... Stop by any time. You have to be a citizen for them to even listen. Talk to you, okay. Please refrain from engaging in any 
is nothing but a bunch of warm up. The FC's no friend of you and me. Well, I want it torn down, of course. I can blow it up for you. That there's even an embassy for them here after what they did. It's infuriating. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Ha! Diplomacy? That doesn't mean anything to the FC. They'll break any law and treaty that they feel like. It doesn't matter to them. What's my problem with them? Really? I'm keeping the FC accountable for the terrible things they've done. The colony war was an unforgivable tragedy. Countless lives could have been spared, but the Free Star Collective was out for blood. The Free Star Collective took my father away from me. But that's not what I want. I don't want us to move on. I want people to wake up and realize what the FC did to us, and I want them to be angry. I want justice and closure for everyone in the UC. Okay. All right. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Come on, Bethesda, you're better than that. Nobody sees the ambassador without an appointment, and you don't have one. Boom. Yes, exactly. It's like, like, when someone insults you, you want to just... Still not found the bloody coffee shop. Ooh, a clothes shop. Please let me know if I may assist you. You won't find a larger array of options in all the settled systems, I guarantee you. Be my guest. Ooh. Okay.
Your patronage is appreciated. While I'm walking around the city, dress a bit more formal. Well, I, I have no bloody clue where I'm going. Um. Mm-hmm. 